tropical storm force winds left the area. Uh, we scheduled a bunch of flights, uh, both uh, the one we're on right now, uh, plus a number of other uh, more technical flights that will actually do imagery and send it back to our headquarters. What we've seen is some pretty dramatic uh, uh, damage on the, uh, on the Barrier Islands. Uh, at least two breaches, possibly three breaches of uh, Highway 12. This is our first cut. Uh, we go through this to try to make sure we take care of those immediate needs. Uh, but uh, what follows now is for us to get on the ground and into the neighborhoods and see uh, you know, if anybody needs our assistance. Irene is a, was a big storm, you know, hundreds of miles wide. It, uh, you know, it came ashore, and because you know the first place it was headed for was North Carolina, it, you know, for the blowing, it started tropical storm force winds. Uh, we were, you know, close to a day and a half under tropical storm force winds, and almost a full day of hurricane force winds. But the, uh, you know, the thing that's really impressed me, uh, and I think impresses everyone, is the, uh, the significant resources and significant capability the state of North Carolina has and their local communities. Colonel Holmes and his willingness to help us and find a way to be able to do this immediate, fast assessment uh, has been a great benefit to us. And uh, Captain Colbert and his teams and two crews uh, have done an outstanding job in uh, getting us to the places with the most damage and so that we can see and be able to respond faster and quicker for our survivors. As far as the FEMA support, uh, you know, we're going we're to continue to evaluate we need to get in there and help with debris removal off of roads, uh, where there was uh, trees down or uh, foliage you know, problems on public buildings or, or you know, trees into houses. Uh, we're going to do that. Uh, but right now we're in that assessment phase. Uh, we got to get a clear picture of what, what it is the requirements are so that we can address it in the right way.